Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to make a 3D model of Pelton Turbine in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started with today's video. Take a new standard part in millimeter. Take 2D sketch on XY plane. Take the line command, make a vertical line. Give it a dimension of 42.33. Okay, now we'll make a three reference points. Okay, now give them a dimension, give them horizontal dimensions first. And this will be 10.58 and this will be 14.82 and this has 16.92. Drag them. Okay, now it's visible. Now give them the vertical dimensions. Give it as 8.47. Give it 14.82, and this has 25 mm. Okay. So now similarly drag these, so it will be more visible okay now take the interpolation spline select the top of the line select the first second third point and select the bottom of the line and finish this okay now take the revolve command select this profile and revolve about this center line and give a dimension of angle of 180 degree okay okay this is the profile now take an offset plane select the we'll select this plane the yz plane and offset it minus 12.5 okay now take the mirror command select the mirror solid and select this body and select this plane and ok so this whole solid has been mirrored here now take the shell command and give a shell of 1.5 m ok ok it's defined now Take the, we'll take the YZ plane and make a new sketch. Ta uh, take a project cut edges. It will uh, make a projected profile here. Change the view to wireframe. So select this and change it to construction. Similarly, this has construction and this has right click and construction. Okay. Now again, take the point command, make a point here, here, and here. Okay. Give this has dimension of 5 mm. This has, uh, let it be. Uh, let it be 23 mm and the distance from here will be 19 mm and distance of this is 50 mm and from here it will be 16 mm okay okay and make the so go to sketch once again now take the spline select this point this point and this point finish now take the simple line make a horizontal line and one line till here and till here ok now give it a dimension 
this has 14.82 and this has a line of 21.17 okay it's fully defined fully constrained extrude it extrude it up to symmetric and take a dimension 4 mm okay change the view to shaded with edges okay we are missing with one thing so the cut is missing here so take a sketch on XZ plane okay change its visibility now take the project geometry and select this point okay now take the line command okay take the points two points here change the view to wireframe and give them dimensions give it a dimension of 5 and this as 4 and the dimension from here will be 2 and this will be at a dimension of 5.5 mm -hmm. 4 and 5 it's ok now take the counter vertex spline change it to shaded to the edges so this 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 and this point uh, and ok ok now it's a closed geometry take the extrude command change its view ok now flip the direction and take the cut cut of depth 20 and ok ok now we have to mirror this profile to this so take the mirror command take the mirror select this feature select the mirror plane as the working plane 1 and ok so we have this cut over here as well similarly take the mirror command once again select this feature select the mirror plane 1 and ok the scoop is ready of for the Pelton turbine now take the working plane one once again and make a new sketch make a new circle of the 120 mm ok give the distance from point so it's not getting the point so take the project geometry select this point ok a new point is been generated select this point select the center point of the circle and give a dimension 120 take the horizontal constraint select this select this it's fully constrained now now take the extrude command make a symmetric extrude of 32.5 don't join this with the scope make it a new solid and ok now take the circular pattern you have to pattern this scope so we will pattern the solid select the scope and the axis of rotation will be this the count of 15 15 ok now select this face and take the circle command and make a circle of dia 80 ok it's still moving so take the concentric select this 
so current is this have been made from same center now take the extrude command extrude it flip the direction take the cut and cut off 5 m okay so now mirror this profile to back so take the mirror select this feature select the mirror plane as working plane 1 and okay okay same profile has been mirrored at back side now select this face and make a circle of dia 65 do similarly concentric to this and make a circle of dia 9 take the vertical constraint select this point and the center point select this and make it to construction geometry this is the piss circle diameter take the circular pattern select this circle select this as axis of rotation and take account of 9 and make a circle at center point of the 25 ok now extrude make a window for selection of profiles or we can select one by one select profile uh, ok we will do by window select it bottom so the cutting profiles have been selected change it to cut it will flip the direction and make a through cut and ok so the basic the profile is ready for the pelt now we will provide it material or the appearance I will give it a material as silver and the scoops will be the inner profiles I will give them a color of light red or the orange red you can take it as you want select them one by one select them all one by one and give them an appearance so it's almost done okay two more this and this and this okay they are all covered so take the orange red so it's fine so the basic model of pelton turbine is being created i hope you like the video if you do that please hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos Thank